Hey, it's Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and it is Wednesday. It's August 2nd. This will be our chart lesson for the day, and we had some movement finally today. There's still not a whole lot of trades. Um, there's there's a couple of nice ones on the way down, and then a couple on the way back up. Um, but there's still not a whole lot of trades here. Uh, we just we, at least we did get some volatility and some movement today. Looks like a little more volume as well. Early on, it looked like it was going to be zilch going on, uh, but it turns out to be uh, you know some decent trades today. So it won't take long to go through them. I'm going to go through them and uh, we'll get today over with. But um, you had to be patient early on because this is a really tight. Um, really tight channel here. This one happened a little bit before 7 o'clock, so unless you were here early. If you were here early, I'd take that trade. That's a failed break lower. Uh, we worked up here. There's uh, a little double top and a little double test of that right there, but you don't really have room to get out. And Notice how it bounced to the tick right at that previous low across there. My line's not exact. Don't ask me why that's doing that. I've never seen that happen before. I think I'm having some problems with my mouse here. But anyway. Um, you don't have enough room. And notice how it bounced to the tick. And then it goes up. And you don't have enough room to get out before here. Um, it looks like it would have been a four tick failure. And then it turns down. But you get room here to get, to get in and get out. And so I like that one. And... Um, it's a little failed break higher again, too, and it's a big bearish bar. So I like that one. You don't know that it's going to go all the way down here, but if you took it and you held on a runner, I generally I don't hold runners inside a tight range like that. It's a waste of your time and money. Uh, in this case, it would have taken off, but uh, once it broke out and you got this second entry short here, um, now I'd be looking for a measured leg down, hopefully right like this leg right here. And so you probably want to hold a runner on this next entry. And you can see we went, gosh, we went much further than that. We, we went twice as far. We really did double that, a little more than double. So uh, this is the kind of runner you hope to catch. If you catch this one runner, you can get, you know, six, seven points out of this. Um, so this was a nice second entry short. Notice you got a little... Channel working up, and then you get a close outside, move to a new high, and uh, a second entry short. So you got a new low, first entry, pull back, second entry. Nice bearish reversal type bar there, too. Um, so I like going short there. And you're just looking for a measured leg, but hopefully you get a whole lot more. So that was a nice trade. And then notice we, uh, we get a close outside here. Uh, we actually start going sideways, and this is like a failed break higher. This is close to being green because I usually like a little better signal bar than that. But uh, it's a double top as well. I don't have my line on there, but that is a double top as well. So it just gives you another, I mean, that's what you're looking for in a downtrend. And... Um, you're looking for prices to probably test this low again. And again, it takes off. So um, if you got any runners, and then notice what happens. You got this little shorter term trend line working down. You get uh, a close outside, but notice that's a new high. Pull back first entry, pull back second entry. It fails, and you, uh, you get another real bearish bar. This is really your signal bar. But you could use this bar and enter one tick below it, but your stop has to go above this one. Uh, so this is really what's triggering your signal bar. And, you know, except for a really strong trend down, I wouldn't take that trade. This one, you could argue for it to be green as well. Uh, but it is a failed second entry long. And at this point, it's, it looks like this is a two-tier channel. And you're looking for prices to probably come to this very low side. It never happens, um, but that's what you would be expecting at that point, especially when it comes back up and touches this uh, midline here and touches it again. It's tempting to enter here, 
but you didn't go very far here and it bounced each time notice you're getting a little less and that's a big bullish bar uh, if you did enter here um, your failed second entry longs here so this is just a lower high but you had all that support right across there and it didn't stay down there very long so if you did go short right there uh, if you didn't have room to get out it, on my chart it, it probably would have been a four tick failure it bounced off of it a lot of times down here so you know if you got in really early you might get out but if you got hung in this when this closed right here again as an inside bar and you're climbing back here i'd exit with a tick or two or whatever it'd give me and i'd see if we don't get a reversal pattern which we get right here uh failed second entry short big bullish reversal bar go long right there and i'd be holding a runner here uh, you might look to exit here if it doesn't uh if you start to turn down but it doesn't it ends up pushing on through notice how you got a little resistance there uh somebody asked me somebody which they sent me their chart and they asked me about this uh they actually had a second entry here their chart was just a whole lot different than mine i'm not sure um on their chart they had a second entry right there but you can see on my chart the second entry short was right here and this is like a uh, there's a first entry second entry uh, that's a third entry and then this is a fourth entry up here uh counting off the lows so um if anything, I would have been, uh, you definitely don't want to go short right there with that trend line working up there off those, off that. And uh, notice how it, you get a little bit of a close outside here and then it turns up. That's not a convincing close, so I wouldn't even want to take that short. Um, but on their chart, I believe this was a second entry short right here. So I'm not sure what was different about their chart. They had a trend line coming off these first two swings that matched up way up here so maybe if you took it off the high maybe there uh, I, I don't know why their trend line was so much different but uh, it was and they and this looked like it was off their trend line and that's why they took it but what you have to understand is this is a big rally up here and so you need to draw this trend line and make sure you just plays out and I'd wait on a lower high and notice that doesn't come to a way down here and you don't want to be going short right into all that support right across there so um, I did mark this one because I wanted to talk about it it's very similar to this uh, other reversal we talked about over here going down this is one doing the same thing this is almost a little repeat pattern but you got a little trend channel you get a close outside the first entry uh, it's just a first entry short and it's right into that low but you might have been interested in this because it's a failed second entry long or it looks like it's going to be a failed second entry long uh, and you would expect to probably test that low with this trend line working down the shorter term trend line and you also expect that hey we may test this low because this is the first break of this trend line but you really needed a confirmation of this trend line and we didn't get it so um you know in the end you don't get any confirmation off this end or this end although this is what i was playing all the way down uh, so it could be that this is a two-tier channel and that's a big overshoot or it could be that uh, and all I did was draw this line and drag it down to the very lows and put the midline in here and it was fitting pretty good when it came right across there and you can see it look still looked good down here around nine something and so um, so I like this this looks like valid but we did need more data to ve verify it on each side and we never really got it so this would have been what you were looking for to confirm and it went right through of course if you drew your trend line where that was touching the very top of that actually their trend line was coming off this right here then you know you still have to let the you know draw this shorter term trend line and let it play out and that would have kept you out of that if your trend line looked like this gentleman's particular trend line but anyway um i'd be careful going short right here but if you did go short right here once you got these two bars stacking up here um you better take what it'll get you an exit 
Of course, your entry would be one tick below that bar. Now, you could have dropped a limit order back up in here and try, and you would have got filled all the way back up to here, and then that probably would have got you out, so it wouldn't have mattered. But if you went short below, one tick below that one, then you're not getting back out of that trade, most likely, without losing a tick or two or three. And, uh, of course, if you reverse here, once you realize it's a trap to the low side and not the high side, uh, then you can just ride that out. Again, I didn't mark any of this uh, because this is not a very good signal bar here, even though it's a double bottom. And uh, so you really needed to worry on that reversal pattern, which comes here. And so you notice I marked that one blue. But look at the low. First entry short, you move up. Second entry short, just go long right there. And notice how it bounces right off that trend line you were looking at earlier. And I got that off these highs here. And notice you did get an overshoot here. So that leads you to believe you're probably going to get your break here. Um, so you definitely don't want to be taking that second entry long there, still inside that trend line, knowing you're going to get a break of this. Uh, you, need to, you need to wait on that reversal pattern most likely, or at least get a very, uh, on this high or low or double bottom here, you really need a really good signal bar, and you don't have that. Those, bar, those two bars are actually, this one's probably neutral, that one's very bearish and that one's very bearish so um but notice how it pushes through the ema pulls back and tests that trend line again and revert it actually went short first and reversed and goes out the top i like that one and you can ride that all the way into the close uh, i would have probably exited up here back at the trend channel line um, and notice it comes back and it bounces right off that trend line again so i feel confident that trend line was right we just got a break early here so um yeah, uh, there were some pretty good trades today. Again, not a whole lot, but um, we just haven't had a good, it looked like we were going to have a really good, strong trend here, downtrend, but we, it didn't turn out that way. It, it had a good move down, and then it reversed, and it was all up the rest of the day. So in the end, we closed basically unchanged from yesterday. We closed right here yesterday. We actually closed up a little bit because uh, we closed... Let me just see what the we closed yesterday at 2471.75 and we closed today at 2473 and a quarter. So we closed up a little bit. Even with all that sell-off, we closed up a little bit. So this is just an odd market right now. Um, there's not a lot of volume and volatility, so you know, they're probably manipulating, moving it around. The, you know, there there's people that can buy and sell enough to manipulate this market uh, when it's low volume like this. So, And in the end, there's big enough buyers and sellers that uh, they can move this market if they want to. Um, if you get somebody that starts selling a lot, they can sell this thing off. And you've got some players that if they start buying, they can rally it uh, because their buying power is that big. So us little guys we just have to tag along and look for these clues and get on board with them that's our that's our goal is to figure out what they're doing with the market and go with them and who don't ask me who who is i get that question sometimes who is just the collective buyers and sellers that can actually move the market and um even in the s yes, there's there's groups that can move this market if they start buying or selling and so just be aware of that. And so our job is to figure out what they're doing with it and not let them fool us and go along on the ride with them without getting fooled. Let's throw that in there again. We can't get fooled. And we will, and you'll get fooled sometimes. And you'll misread it sometimes. And uh, because really, I, re I really thought we'd go lower here. And... Um, it didn't happen. We reversed. I was really looking for prices to come down here. But uh, there was another clue that maybe we were overdone because if you measure that leg, it only gives you to right in here. And we went double that and then some. So that that would be the only clue. Uh, and that's not a strong enough clue, to be honest with you. So uh, anyway, uh, that's about it for today. I'm going to wrap it up. Uh, we'll be back again to do it tomorrow and wrap up our week. I uh, hope you had a good trading day. I'm done for today. This is Mac with Price Action. Actually, you know what? I've been meaning I was going to read another email. I 
I've gotten another couple of emails, so I've got an email over. I'm going to read them. I'll pause it just a second. Read that email, and then we'll wrap the day up. Okay, I actually got this email last Thursday, but I just I haven't, haven't been able to find the time to read it. I keep keep forgetting, and I almost forgot again today. But I meant to read it Monday, and then yesterday, and then uh, almost forgot it again today. But uh, let me just read this to you. I know people like to hear positive stories, so this guy sent me his email, and he goes, "Hey, Mac, hope you had a good trading day today. Just wanted to share some good news with you." I've been watching your videos and sim trading since December. So this guy has not been at it that long. Um, he's probably a rarity to have this kind of success this early on. But he is sim trading, and that makes a difference. But if you can do it sim trading, there's no reason you can't eventually do it live. So, uh, But anyway, he goes, he goes on to say, I am still on the sim, but over the last 11 trading days, I've hit 32 of my last 43 trades with a win, win rate of 74.4% averaging about four trades a day. So for somebody that's only been at this since December, uh, to be able to hit almost 75%, that's pretty doggone good. So um, just know that you, you know, not everybody takes as long, although most people take um, much longer than they expect they'll ever have to. And, you know, he's not doing this live yet. You know, he'll have another uh, progression to go through, uh, even if he was hitting 80 or 90% on the sim. Once you go live, you, you know, then you got to get through the mental stuff. So there's another step there yet still. But I just wanted to show that, you know, here's somebody that's only been doing it since December. So about six months and, you know, he's already hitting 75%. So that's pretty doggone good. Uh, congrats to this gentleman. And um, again, if, you know, send me your positive stuff because generally you only hear from the negative people. Uh, usually when people are having a success, they don't write you a whole lot, you know. And uh, so I, I like to get those emails so I can share it with others and give some of you some encouragement to let you know that people can do this. So um, anyway, that's it for today. I'm going to wrap it up. We'll be back again to do it tomorrow. This is Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and we'll see you next time.